Hey, so Sister Kate here. Um, coming to you with this video, and I want you to just um, understand I'm coming from a place where I, I've just kind of, I'm just resigned. So, uh, Facebook was sending me some sort of messages about uh, how they wanted me to register with my real legal name uh, for my Facebook page. And they've been sending me things, you know, you've been on Facebook, you've been friends with somebody four years, five years, whatever. Um, and videos and things and share things you've posted, all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, they're not happy with me. All of a sudden, they want my real name. And, and I know I'm not the only one. Um, I know there have been people who have said these sort of things have been happening. And I just thought, well, it's not going to happen to me. Well, I was wrong. So the first notice, I kind of, I don't remember how I responded to it. But the second one, I was just like flat out, no, I'm not going to do it. Because what they're saying is I need to give them like a copy of a legal document, you know, like a driver's license or a, a social security card or something like that. And the truth is, I don't have to. They are not an entity that can force you or me to do anything they can't they are a private organization you know privately owned they're not government sponsored or or non-profit or something and so they cannot uh, force you to do anything now they can ask and they can make the membership requirement a certain thing like they are trying to make it right now um but they they have no leverage. They they can't make me do it, and I'm not going to. It's not that important to me to be on their particular social media website that I'm going to give up private information that they have no business having. They just don't. Um, so I'm I'm done with Facebook. It, it, I didn't really want to. People kept saying, "Oh, you should just get off of it. It's bad." Blah blah blah. Information gathering. I saw it as a way to keep in touch with people that I don't normally, I'm not able to keep in touch with. Uh, friends from high school, things like that. And I found it useful for that and also for um, connecting with other Hebrew Israelites. And so I, my complaint back to Facebook was, you're using uh, religious discrimination against me because my Facebook name, Yah's daughter Kate, involves Yahweh's name and I see that as they're repressing me with expressing my religious uh, preference um, and I do think that's legitimate I think there's there's something there that they don't want me to use that title but they want me to use my real name real name whatever um, they're the ones who offered you know they're the ones who were like yeah make a name up have an account blah 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 why now are they trying to change how they originally, you know, started the whole thing? I don't know, but I, I, I'm just not playing their game. I, I'm not doing it. I, I think it's, it's unfair. Uh, they should have said that kind of thing right up front before people joined. And I think if you're unhappy with them, you should let them know. Because I kind of look at this like Patreon uh, when they did the thing recently where they were making the viewers pay extra money that the, the um, producers originally had been paying out of their cut and it made everyone who was pledging really angry because their pledges went from being a dollar to like a dollar 38 or a dollar 58 a month and that that wasn't right well I kind of but see people complained against that not only the people creating you know Patreon sites, but people um, pledging money, uh, enough of them complained and Patreon, Patreon backed up and they went back to their original way. Um, I think it's, it's uh, if you're not happy with Facebook and the way they're running things, you should complain to them too. I did. Um, and what I'm getting in return uh, is they're just standard send us this information form and I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I really ought to block them from my email too. I probably will get around to that because I don't want any more flyers from them unless they change their mind. Um, and then we can uh, think about it. So if any of you were on Facebook, um, that's why you're being blocked right now. I'm not blocking anyone. Um, and if you're unhappy about that,
please let Facebook know. Uh, you can go to my YouTube channel. Obviously, this is it uh, for God Live. Uh, or you can email me at Morrigan, that's M-O-R-R-I-G-A-N, 55 at hotmail.com. Um, if you're, you know, a friend of mine and, and you'd like to stay in touch, uh, you can email me and then I'll, I'll get back to you. But that's it. That's, that's why I'm not on Facebook anymore. That's why you can't access my, my Facebook page and why I can't either. And I, I apologize, but it really was, uh, on them. Them trying to force me to do something I don't agree with, and I don't. I think if you don't agree with it, you shouldn't play their game either. It's just not the deal they made back when I signed up. And if I if they had required that, then I probably wouldn't have signed up then. All right. Well, I hope this makes sense. I hope you are doing well. Thanks for watching. Shalom. Bless you.